Hello my friends, welcome back to Hoogie Place and the Truckers Vlog on Euro Truck Simulator. As you see, uh, we are still here in, or perhaps perhaps that's not what you see, but we are still in uh, Iceland, in uh, Stykkisholmur. I've had a good night's rest here and uh, I'm just loading up at Sam Skip in uh, Stykkisholmur. We are going with this uh, empty tank to uh, Olafsvik, I think it's called. And uh, let's just connect the trailer here. Let's see if we can get some lights on the trailer. Yes. So, as I said, we are going to a place called Olafsvik. Uh, it's on the tip of this uh, of this uh, part here. Uh, it's as far as you can come if you go uh, we uh, west on Iceland, uh, at least on this map. And we are going from Stykkisholmur, as you see here, road 54. It's only 114 kilometers, so it's it's a short trip, but. For those of you who, who follows my vlog, you know that uh, driving here in Iceland is not always easy, so it can take some time if we are unlucky. But I hope that it will go smooth without problems, and um, I hope that you will come with me as well. So, uh, time to roll, and um, yes. I hope that everything will be okay. I've updated a few mods here and there, uh, mostly cat, Jesse Cat mods, so I have the latest ones of them. And I hope that there will be no problems. Uh, I am not sure whether it's the map mod or if it's um, if it's the Jesse Cat mods, but. I have found out that on some locations in the map it's uh, pretty pretty hard to um, to uh, get to the trailers uh, or to uh, be able to park because uh, the parking zone is sometimes ending up in uh, Oh, yeah, we are going out here. Yep. Time to do some gravel driving them. Yeah, as I said, uh, the parking zones sometimes end up in locations where you cannot reach reach them. And um, I'm not sure if it's the Jesse Cat mod or if it's uh, the map mod or something else. But. Fortunately, when it comes to um, loading, as, uh, at least, you can cheat a little bit, but it's har harder when you are going to um, you are going to uh, park because the parking uh, place is often fixed. Okay, a lot of morning traffic here. And um, here is where we are going to get on the new path, the new road that we have not driven before. Looks like we are going on gravel the whole way. And as I said, even if it's uh, not that far between the locations and if it looks pretty easy, it's not always uh, the fact. And this um, tank trailer is not easy, it's not lightweight, so uh, the engine will have to work uh, pretty hard uh, going uphill. And as I've said before, driving on these roads uh, w with a good for force feedback steering wheel is <laughs> It's nice because there are a lot of movements in the steering wheel. And yeah, I must.
must say that I really like this part of Iceland. And actually it looks like we are going out on a bigger road out there. And uh, when we are going from Olafsvik, uh, uh, heading towards uh, Reykjavik, we will hopefully drive... Yeah, you see Reykjavik is standing there, so... Uh, that's good. And I have not got... I'm not tired of my uh, Scania RGL yet, so uh, it will stick with me for some time to come. I uh, will probably not sell it when it's time to uh, change truck because I think that I will uh, hire a new driver and uh, let the new driver take this truck and buy a truck for myself so uh, I'm trying to um, save as much money as possible so that I can buy a truck without taking two too much in uh, in low. That's a good business strategy. To uh, if you are going to buy something, buy it with your own money and try not to take loans on uh, from the bank. And. Uh, I am also tr uh, thinking about. Looks like it's go. Ah, uh huh. Okay, so we need to fill up soon. I thought I had fuel, but it changed dramatically there. So I hope that I will see a gas station somewhere up here. least near Olafsvik. As I said, I'm thinking about buying my own trailer, even if there are a lot of trailers and cargos that you can drive like this. Uh, owning my own trailer would be nice and I can also, I can also uh, buy a trailer and drive it for a while and let one of my drivers drive it and uh, then drive different trailers like this even if I have my own trailer so uh, I'm not sure uh, it was so long since I had my own trailer and I'm not sure whether I will gain economically in having it if I earn more money while driving my own trailer it, it would probably be logical to to do that but I'm not sure very very nice roads up here So we are closing in on Olafsvik, only 9 kilometers left and hopefully there is, there is a gas station around here. I haven't checked the map, but I will of course do that now. Yeah, the gas station there, you can see it, the green symbol near Olafsvik. So, we are safe then. And it's actually... V yeah. It was my mistake. I was looking at the... <laughs> I was looking at the, the wrong gauge when... Um, 
at first. Thank you for going that way. I'm going this way, and here we have. Is this. Is this the. gas station, perhaps? Let's see if I can fill up here then. Do it like this. Yeah, perfect. So, let's fill up some diesel in the tank. And then we are ready to proceed. Like that. Ah, we need to go back. I missed. I missed the. Can I turn around down here? Yep, I can turn here. So, you see, it's not it's not always easy to find the road. <laughs> well, it's in this case it was probably not hard to find the road, but I was so focused on uh, refueling. down there yeah I could have stopped for refueling after unloading but that did not happen and we have our parking spot there so is it I'm thinking Perhaps it's better to do it like this. I'm not sure if I'm if I have to put it in this direction or in the other direction. So I will try to do it like this. Perhaps. But if this not if this is not the right direction, I can easily just turn around and drive into place. But this would be the logical the logic position. As you see, it wasn't, so let's do it like this then. Let's just turn around here. See if this will do instead. 
This should be the right way then. Yeah. There you had it. The parking is done. Engage the parking brake. And we are in place. So um, disconnect the trailer and then we are done with the first job of the day. Like this perhaps. And so my friends. Thank you for uh, coming with me on this journey from Stykkisholmur to Olafsvik up in uh, Iceland. 3,367 euros. Uh, not much, but it wasn't that long either. And um, let's just take a look at the ma map here, the Iceland map, as you see. I've done a f quite a good work here on Iceland and I have this uh, south side left to do perhaps also going over here there are probably some nice roads here uh, snow and icy roads and uh, it looks uh, challenging so that might be something to think about okay uh, please uh, subscribe like and comment and uh, Join me on the next uh, journey as well. And um, until the next time, take care, everyone. See you. Bye-bye.